Nice gill. All right, whole school of gills just came in. And what is this? What this is called is the bait and switch. Watch this. So I got a rattle and flyer down here right now. There's no way they will eat that rattle and flyer. It's just too big. They just sit there and they pretty much ignore it. So I'm gonna drop this tungsten down. So basically that rattle and flyer will attract them in, but they won't eat it. They'll just stare at it. And you drop a tungsten with a wax worm on it. They're interested in the tungsten as soon as it gets down there. There he's on it, there he's on it. It's a good gill here. Got him, oh, good gill, really good gill. So what I did there, rattle and flyer down to attract them in. As soon as the big school comes in, switch down. Oh, that's a nice one right there. Grab him. Look at that. I dropped down the tungsten on him. Uh, tungsten bug here is what I have on, tipped with a couple wax worms. And it's funny that they'll stare at that rattle and flyer all day long until that tungsten gets down there. As soon as that tungsten gets down there, they forget that rattle and flyer is there at all. So it's the end of January and I'm fishing on some mid-lake structure. I'm just right off the edge of it in 18.3 uh, feet of water. Give you one more look at that big guy. Nice gill. I'm gonna let him go. All right. So they come up to feed in this mid-leg structure, I'm just basically intercepting them. Um, with the bigger jig, it'll bring them in, it'll track them from a long way away. Um, quiver spoons work really good, rattle and flyers work really good, um, glow spoons work really good. You just kinda gotta see what the mood of the fish is that day, really, um, to attract them in. And then I just follow it up with a tungsten, a couple wax worms, and they're just sitting there staring at it, drop it down. As soon as they see that tungsten, they're coming in and they're, and they're hammering it. It's a very effective technique. I call it the bait and switch. Use something bigger to draw them in, and then once they're in, seal the deal with uh, tungsten tip with some wax worms.